Okay, mate, you do the hokey pokey, do the muffler mod, and see how it turns out. Now, I'll explain myself in a minute what I'm doing, but um, I'm trying to work out right now what angle I'm going to be on on the cone I want to make. So, a cone like that, all right? Similar cone. I'm chasing angles, chasing designs. Now, I go like that at 41, and I want 60 degrees. So, up, 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 50. That's 60 there, so quite steep. That's what I'm after. So I think I might just go a big um, circle. So yeah, a saucepan will do that, that. I'll bring you back in a second. Um, see if that works out at 60 degrees, and I'll tell you why I'm doing it. Master document, master document. So I'm about 155 mils. 150, hang on. 1550, yeah. That works out, work out. Uh, six and uh, one quarter inches. So I ran it. Now I don't have time today to do this. I've, I've work I do fix these chainsaws down here for a guy I've known for a long time. They're running, but they don't run. They don't oil properly. Yeah, just running. No reason. It's proven there's a a chindawa. Still no uh, echo. Uh, no echo. I have to fix them, but I want to talk about the muffle mod. Now got the um, plumb bob, and the plumb bob is what I use for the cone of science. On the uh, my sun saw the three nine uh, three seven two, um, the angle must be at forty five degrees. Uh, forty five. Well, I'll check it. We'll check. It's only roughly so rough measurements. Zero then. Put the um, palm bog flat roughly. So it's degrees it is. Yeah, so 40, 40, 45 and a bit can change. So roughly that. I'm, yeah, I'm not 100% happy with that, I'd, I'd sooner go closer to 60, but having an angle like this, being a solid steel, I can heat metal up around this, and I'm willing to try that, but um, I, I could um, modify a bit of metal and go to 60 degrees if I had the patience and time to do it, but um, that fits over that quite easily, and that's just left over scraps. Now, I, I dreamed about this last night, and um, I used to have really good dreams with you guys, um, I'd be able to work out things in my head when you dream, so I just wish I would dream more often now. Just have wonderful dreams. Now, that there, I'd do this with this um, muffle mod. Uh, it's really easy on a steel. So there's a steel muffle. I'd cut the guts out here. You don't need that at all. Pull them completely out. I have a flat background, so I'd probably get a um, 046 or 044, something like that. Yes, Butterbean Junior. It's in a crow when they see me. Pull that out, and it's left to have a bit of metal here. I heat it up. Keep the um, circumference of this thing as a circle, perfect circle, and heat the part up down the bottom here and square it off to fit over the exhaust. And as luck would have it, I mean, you know, I was told years ago, if it was meant to happen, it's meant to happen. But luck would have it, if I stretch that in the hole, over the hole, I'd probably be able to make that match. So she's almost, if I... Square it off, she probably almost hit that perfectly. But I'd probably go and um, make this re, re make this again, and so you can see it's bigger. I'd be able to probably square that off quite nice. So then you have a megaphone effect. Now, I have that on the inside, megaphone that way, well, up, completely out. Um, you had to do the bolts up in here, which you have to be able to get to the bolts. If I had the bolts here, you'd have no chance of having the saw running because the vibrates off the piece. You need the bolts. I'd braze that into there so it can't fall out. Then I'd clean all of it. You wouldn't want no crap there, but clean it completely up, and that'll give you a megaphone effect. Now, once it's in like that, pull up a cage and all that, but once it's brazed in, this part here would go over it. And go over like that into the exhaust. So, obviously, it's the wrong size and all that, but it's very close to what I want. Then so you go back in like that and resonate the sound back like a two stroke arm on a dirt bike. Resonate the sound directly back into that cone and um, it will give you more power, hypothetically speaking. Now, if you have a look at this one, it's coming out of the exhaust, that's coming straight down like that. Now, I'm the wrong size and all that, but the size I would have, what well, I'd make sure this big one fits first, and this one here, I'd make this as round as I could to fit into that um, cone. So, you've got about a quarter inch gap, something like that, all the way around on the inside, like that. 
So say you ran it like that, and you guys will see that. But you've got more line. Go that way. Oh, if it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. See all that? A miracle. So it's just like that. This goes back in like this. I lift it up just a bit. So the sound will come um, through the exhaust, vibrate and bounce back off that returning cone. And this, of course, this should be bigger. So it'd be around about here somewhere. And the exhaust itself would escape out between the two. So that quarter an inch away from the base like that. And hopefully the exhaust gets out, but the sound wave smash against this and come back. Now what I do with this one here, I mount that directly through the hole of this front plate. So I drill a hole in the guts, and that's, this is the hard part, guys. Measuring everything up and making it all work. The first one will be um, bodges all hole. Uh, measure up roughly where the hole has to be. Grind it and grind it until it fits where it has to go. That would go over the top like that. Stick through this, and because it's up for um, uh, MS3, uh, MS6, it's 660. Uh, it's got quite big dogs, and the um, dogs will stop this cone getting in the road. I wouldn't necessarily care if I cut part of that cone off anyway. All I'll do is make it so this doesn't vibrate and fall out. So I want to circle about an inch of those around here. I can braise that, then a flat the end of that. Um, it wouldn't really matter at all if it had a flat just here. Um, it'd vibrate off the flat, and the cone would make sure it goes back to where it should go. But at 60 degrees. Now, if you want to know why 60, now I'll show you. See what I mean, 60, I think, roughly close to 60 degrees, so I use that big um, saucepan lid and just pull it through and pull it through. I cut that piece off, I don't know where the piece. Bit of a um, muffle. Ah, bit of cardboard. Let's keep that. Oh, it's not for something. Anyway, if you want to know why 60 is important, um, man, I like I watch, like watching videos that um, really make your mind think. Um, I'll turn that off for a second. Um, if you ever wonder why there's 360 degrees in a circle so you have, in your mathematics class, have you ever thought to yourself, why is there 360 in a circle? So that's the question. Now, 60 degrees fits into a uh, 360 degree circle, uh, I think six times, which gives the ability to divide the circle up evenly, and it's easier for our mind to complicate, uh, complete, compute what's going on with angles and stuff. So, And if you go further into it, 60 degrees uh, is very important with different um, ways of measuring stuff. It's to do with the clock uh, face. Um, it's the way our fingers work. If you look at our fingers, look at our hands. Look at our fingers, you've got three points in our fingers. There's one, two, three there. Uh, Indian people, measure, well, not all Indian people, in the old days, they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's all to do with. Um, working in what um, bi biologically works with us, with the environment and stuff like this. So I've been looking into 60 degrees. I think it's more to 60 degrees than what we've been led to believe. And I'm going to experiment with this. I want to know what will work. So the whole idea is mount this part here perfectly where it has to be. Line it up so it's um, a quarter of an inch gap between this one and that one. Just let the exhaust gases out. I'll try and capture as much sound as I can in there. But let the exhaust gas fly out. The um, exhaust ports on the side, there's no problem with them. Um, you got to think of it, these things can do 13,500 revs, so you don't really need to go any water. You might want to get you know, a tab wire if you want, but I don't think that will necessarily uh, cause the soil to work any better. But I'm trying to catch a little bit more fuel and air in the exhaust, um, like a proper two straight a motorbike does, a tune, a tune pipe. Uh, if I can throw more fuel and air back into the cylinder as the exhaust shuts up, say 10%. That 10% adds some more power, and that's a hell of a lot more power. So I might drag this thing up from 13,500 revs to 14 or 15,000 revs in the car. So I'm really going to muck around this when I have a chance one day. Got other things I have to do, other things I have to finish off. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, you guys, I dreamed about this last time. So you have to work out. Uh, this one has to be um, taller and wider, circle or circle. But you got to work out, um, I haven't got one here. A T handle like that with a ball end. So what can you get to with the bolt? So I'd probably go with that first. What can I actually get to to push that bolt down like that? And especially on this side here. So you're limited by the angle there. I don't know if I can work at that angle. Probably can't. I'll try. I'll try one here. Uh, uh, so uh, I'll do. I'll turn that on. So what angle do I be led with? It's a 70 degree. So if I went 60, 
That's more. No, 70 degrees. So I can't do 60 on that one there. I'm limited to that side. Well, that's all right. Turn around. Well, it's all guess work, guys. Peanut been, been development. Oh, wait. I'm trying to work out things work. Yeah, so. So I'm, I'm limited. So I really have to do a 70 degree angle, which is fine. Uh, that'll fit still inside the 60. Let's make it slightly small, and that'll work. I'm pretty sure. And that will. Um, Make this all powerful thing that fits into that almost perfectly. So I've redone really that again with steel. The steppy thing with steel, and that would fit down here as such, like that, but a bit further than that. I want to go down as far as I can. What am I limited to? So I'm, I'm limited here on this particular muffler, there's a bump there. So I'm going to go down to probably uh, three quarters of an inch before the bottom, I suppose. Maybe maybe an inch. Don't you have to say an inch to the bottom. And work it out from that. So, cut this to suit one inch from the bottom. Make sure me funnel from the outside here works. But yeah, I think it'd be a ripper of idea and still be really quiet. So, this will be done in the future. Not now, but very soon. All right, guys, over and out. Thanks for watching. And think, it's just things like this drive me mad at night. All right, guys.